Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial and today we are back in our Minecraft series. We're in the part three. If you haven't watched the two other parts, go ahead and go watch them. They're very important and very essential to this series. So if you just watch this one, you're probably not going to pick up on what we're doing. So I recommend going back and watching those. Now if you have any errors or bugs or anything like that you that you want to report, just comment below and I will see my best to respond. Now. We're going to be going over a bug fix. So our giant wall that spawns, I will show you guys a picture of that. Right here, this gigantic wall spawns in. And you don't want that. That's definitely not in Minecraft. Um, it's It used to be. But it isn't anymore. So we need to remove that. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then we're also going to be changing where we spawn. And that will be along with the wall, so it's basically the same thing. You fix the wall, you fix where you spawn. And then after that, we're going to be getting our data when we break our block. So currently, when we break a block, we don't get any data from it. We just break the block. Nothing happens. Well, we're going to break our block, and then we're going to debug.log what block it is that we just broke. And then in the next tutorial, we will actually be dropping an item. And then after that, we'll be uh, placing blocks and stuff like that, and then so on and so on. But for today, we're going to be doing those two simple things. So let's go ahead and get started by jumping in to our tutorial. Okay, so our scene in Unity is opened up, as you can see. If we play this, we have that. Farlands bug issue, and that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so as you can see here, we spawn in the middle of the void, and if we move our character over just a bit, you will be able to see here that... Just a bit more, I think. You turn around, and there's a giant wall in our face. And that's not what we want. You guys saw it in the picture, you guys see it here. So we need to fix that bug by two simple lines. So let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio here, and we're going to go into our dual layer terrain with medium value script. Now in this script, around line 59, you will find this. Random, random direction equals no random. That is bugging the game out. Delete that, and we actually have fixed our problem. Now, now this script is very simple. If you guys want to know what cave noise is, that's just like uh, how low we are uh, under the ground. And kind of just the caves in general, that's where this, this is where that's set. If you, if you want the full explanation on how this script works, you can go in the second tutorial that I did. It's not necessary to the series, but if you want to watch it, you sure can. Now that that line is destroyed though, we can go ahead and go into Unity, save our script, go into Unity, press play, and you can see that our bug is fixed. Okay, so as you can see here, our world is generated, and there's no gigantic wall. Now you have to take, you have to believe me on this one, no wall will spawn no matter what, okay? I've done many tests on this, and that one line of code was the thing that was ruining our world. We also spawn in the middle of our world now, and as you can see, there's more terrain that generates. Now currently, when we break a block, sorry if this is laggy by the way, it's not laggy on my end, but when I'm recording, unfortunately, it does lag. When I break a block, currently, it doesn't know what block it's breaking. It just blo breaks the block. There's no uh, no getting what block it breaks or anything like that. It just breaks it. And you can see in the debug log, nothing happens. We just break a block, and it's just breaking a block, right? So how do we change that? We need to get the data from our block. When we break it, that way we can tell it what block to drop. So, in Visual Studio, go into your world script. And down here, under remove block at, we need to write two simple lines of code. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to write type, or block, sorry, block, block. So what is block? This script block is over here. Block. And block type is here, okay? So when we get block, we're gonna get the type from that block. So block block equals m underscore world data dot get block. And we're gonna get the block at hit point dot x. Hit point dot y. 
and hit point dot Z or Z, whichever one you prefer to say. And after that, it's all up to you. You can create an elaborate system of instantiating a um, an object, which we will do in the next tutorial, or you can just say debug dot log. Debug.log block dot type. And that's that simple. In the next tutorial, we will be doing our block dropping, but for now, that's all we need to do. Go into Unity, press play, and we will see exactly what happens. Okay, so now when we go down and we break a block, Again, lag might happen, I don't know. On my end, it's perfectly fine, but I don't know about the recording. So we're going to go ahead and break this block here, our grass, our topsoil. And as you can see in the debug log, we can see topsoil. If we break dirt, you can see there is dirt there. Leaves, you can see we break our leaves. And our log, you can see we break our log. Same with stone and same with everything else that we break. Any blocks that we add ever will be debug.logged right into our system. That way we can get what item it drops. So let's unplay this. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial next week.